what we want the, the hands to feel is what I call short hands and a long, and a long barrel. So the, the actual hand movement is very minimal as far as a forward movement here. And then we want the barrel to release and extend and create the length in our swing. Um, the concept really that we teach is, is having this, this bottom hand thumb turn to the ground as we launch. So the loop and the swing that we want to get done is back here, back behind our head. If we let our hands creep forward and then turn the thumb to the ground, now our loop takes place right out here in the zone. One of the ways to train this is to get a ball in that lead arm and to think about throwing it, launching it, that, that bottom hand thumb down to the ground. We don't want to turn the thumb down and then launch and we also don't want to let the hand leak forward and then turn the thumb down and launch turn the thumb to the ground right when we launch load up turn the thumb to the ground uh, make sure we're turning and, and launching that ball into the air we're not turning and throwing that ball into the ground so the thumb up throws is a really good way to start how to teach that pattern of short hands and a long barrel. Then we'll get the PVC, we'll choke up on it, and we'll do some uh, wiffle ball check swings, thinking about short hands and a long barrel, and look and see and make sure that as we have this bottom part of the PVC extend down, that, that we're getting our hands not traveling forward, but we're letting our hands stay short back behind us when we get into our actual live reps um, we've just taken a regular hitting mat and i've just spray painted it red on the front side a little visual cue for our hitters that that we want the swing to launch and we want the hands to launch back behind this red line short hand movement back here and a long barrel 